welcome back everyone to the state of the nation now canada more like hiyo canada well canadian prime minister justin trudeau said recently that the stories of the tamil canadians affected by the conflict serve as an enduring reminder that human rights peace and democracy cannot be taken for granted and that's why parliament last year that is the canadian parliament unanimously adopted the motion to make may 18th tamil genocide remembrance day the Canadian Prime Minister, while drinking the Kool-Aid of the LTTE, completely went on a false narrative that is only entertained by the Colombo liberal idiot class here in Sri Lanka. Now, that statement did not sit well with the Sri Lankan government for obvious reasons. So, the Foreign Ministry released a statement slamming it. See, if you look at events about this Tamil Lilam issue in Canada, it's evident that the LTTE propaganda arm, led by several people in the Canadian parliamentary system like uh, Gary Anand Sangari, uh, Vijay Thanika Salam, Logan Karnapathy and uh, Nathan Sham, and they have managed to infiltrate the Canadian political system tactfully and have worked very hard to bring results for the Tamil Elam dream. They have managed to spread disinformation within the Canadian government and its political circles about what really happened in Sri Lanka during the war against terrorism. For quite some time, the West has been trying to bring this narrative that Sri Lanka's war was a civil war, which is a bunch of bull. The Sri Lankan government nor the military fought against the Tamil people. It was not an ethnic war. It was a war against terrorists, ruthless, worthless, cowardly terrorists who our heroic forces managed to get rid of. Even the United Nations has never said that there was any war crimes in Sri Lanka. But lo and behold, the West wants to keep that dream alive of fake war crimes. Why? Well, we know now because of our allegiance with the East. Tell a sob story to a Canadian. Boom. Endless possibilities. It's very evident to anyone outside of Canada that the LTTE diaspora is fully manipulating and benefiting from the ignorance of Canadian politicians, yet they're turning a blind eye. Why? Well, it's all about votes. In a way, we Sri Lankans should be happy about it because, after all, now we can safely say that Tamil Elam has indeed found a new home in the state of Ontario, Canada. Anyone still in Sri Lanka dreaming of Tamil Leelam, Homla? Well, your destination is Ontario, Canada. They accept you with open arms. Let's get more perspective on this story. And for that, joining me now uh, from Toronto, Canada, is law professor at the Laurentian University, Canada, Professor Neville Hevike. Thank you very much, Professor, uh, for being here. Good to see you once again. Now, since the last time we spoke about this issue, the Canadian government has moved to embrace the LTT Fellowship fully. So why is the Trudeau government so deaf and blind to the truth? Uh, thank you very much, Mahesh, uh, inviting me for this uh, program. Uh, before answering this question, I need to explain uh, a bit history about this issue. Uh, soon after LTT defeated in Sri Lanka, one of the uh, individuals from uh, Scarborough Rouge Park is attended, tried to meet the KP branch, uh, leader of the KP branch in Malaysia. However, uh, basic idea is to uh, meet him to establish the uh, idea of genocide, uh, Tamil genocide, because he lost the uh, the military, then uh, they want to establish the genocide, uh, idea of the genocide. But uh, they couldn't meet the KP uh, branch and his leader because uh, Malaysian authorities and Sri Lankan authorities, intelligence services get together and arrested uh, him. So therefore, he couldn't get into there. In addition to that, what happened, uh, Trudeau government uh, at the 2014 and uh, want to uh, come for the election and they uh, Scarborough Rouge Park, uh, uh, Mr. Gary Anand Sangri uh, requested for the nomination. That uh, nomination was granted for the uh, uh, Scarborough Rouge Park. In addition to that, they organized the many fundraising events. That fundraising events, uh, some of the LTTE former card also participated. As example, uh, the as example, um, uh, I can tell. Uh, 
Diva uh, Parmasoti, and uh, there was uh, some photographers there. And uh, so in that case, there was uh, some association with the Trudeau government with the uh, LTTE uh, propaganda machine uh, to do some activities uh, to please them. That is the one of the reasons Trudeau government is wants to more lenient and more supportive for uh, for the LTT sympathizers because of they uh, they uh, want to get the votes. Then other issue is that uh, now Trudeau government is a minority government, and so they are looking for. Uh, next election and they are seeking more support for the minority groups and they want to please the other other group. That's why they came against Sri Lanka uh, to issue the that uh, particular statement. Indeed. Uh, finally, Professor, we are short of time. Uh, what do you think uh, we as Sri Lankans here in Sri Lanka needs to do in order to change this narrative now led by the terrorists themselves? Uh, because only what we can do we had to come with the truth. I mean, the truth is the most important thing. And uh, we had to come with the organizing uh, very constructive manner, uh, ad uh, advocating and, uh, you know, uh, giving the public uh, awareness about the, what happened uh, was in Sri Lanka. But as long as we are not doing that one, and uh, we may not be able to succeed, and all the time we will hear the uh, against an anti-Sri Lankan rhetoric by uh, LTT uh, sympathizers, LTTE uh, Tamil diaspora, and uh, uh, so. But uh, very important factor I would just like to mention here. And uh, during the war, most of the Tamil they left the Sri Lanka not because of the army army activities, and they left Sri Lanka because of the LTTE, and uh, they want to protect their uh, children, and therefore the uh, they left Sri Lanka and they find the way to come to Canada. And uh, so it, it is the, the moderate Tamils are completely against with the LTT activities. So what's going with that? Because I'm receiving full support from uh, b Tamil uh, b b b diaspora group and uh, moderate group. And uh, they also want to counter this uh, allegation. So then, uh, then other important factor, soon after they come to Canada, and 95% uh, of the Tamils, they get the permanent uh, residentship, uh, permanent residentship after the uh, refugee status. 95% them, of they go back to Sri Lanka. So then how it can happen there for the genocide claim? It is a completely false narrative. You have to counter that. Absolutely. All right. We have to leave it at that. That was the law professor of Laurentian University, Canada, Professor Neville Havake. Now, what is the Sri Lankan government doing about this matter? As you heard before, our government is lackluster in supporting the Sri Lankan Canadians to get the message across and actually fight the LTTE narrative now plaguing the whole of North America. Joining me now is uh, State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Tarka Balasuriya. Thank you very much, Minister, for being here. Now, step by step, Minister, the LTTE propaganda arm is taking over Canada and is becoming an international force that is having an impact on Sri Lanka. First, they started with the Ontario Bill, then it became the Genocide Week, then they sanctioned two of our presidents, and now this. We saw in each instant that the Sri Lankan government stated its displeasure by releasing statements. It seems like the Canadian government doesn't give two hoots about our government's displeasure. So what are we actually doing that is tangible to ensure that the LTTE will not rise again in any form? Um, Mahesh, uh, I think the, your, the question has two parts to it, uh, whether the uh, LTT rises, uh, what we can do to prevent the LTT uh, rising and with the actions by the, uh, the Canadian government. As far as the, uh, the actions by the Canadian government goes, uh, it's very unfortunate. Uh, it's very uh, unfortunate, but in Canada is a, a sovereign country and they can take the decisions which they want. And of course, we have uh, the express our displeasure uh, uh, several times. Whether, as you put it, uh, the whether they give a two hoots about the displeasure or not is uh, it's not uh, it's something up to them. But uh, in in diplomatic um, diplomatic um, uh, um, 
in, in a diplomatic way forward, uh, I think uh, that's what uh, uh, the friendly countries do. If, uh, if they uh, uh, have interfered in another country uh, in an unwarranted way, uh, we uh, express uh, our uh, displeasure. Uh, but um, as far as, um, and it's very unfortunate because uh, we see that this stemming from, uh, this stemming from uh, the uh, um, uh, the uh, I would say I, I would feel that uh, the internal politics of Canada, uh, where they feel that the, the Tamil diaspora has a significant vote, and in order to um, pursue the Tamil diaspora, uh, the some of the Canadian politicians uh, take to the uh, the lies and the propaganda of the uh, the Can Canadian uh, um, the uh, the, uh, uh, the LTT diaspora. So now would that result in, in uh, the LTT, uh, LTT being uh, uh, coming back as a force, I don't know. Uh, 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 certainly, they are making some uh, voice about it. And I think also this uh, uh, ha has a bigger uh, narrative because it's, I, I feel it's a lack of uh, some countries or particularly some Western countries, uh, lack of understanding of the, uh, the Eastern, uh, the Eastern uh, values. Uh, a problem uh, which, ha which has been epitomized by a recent uh, Twitter picture of uh, the, the Prime Minister Trudeau shaking hands with uh, the uh, Japanese uh, Prime Minister. So, uh, I think uh, the best thing which we can tell the Canadians is that, you know, for, uh, what they are doing is not helping Sri Lanka. If they really want to be a true friend of Sri Lanka, uh, they should work with the Sri Lankan government and uh, help Sri Lanka. Uh, by these uh, these false narratives which they are taking, uh, certainly it's very uh, divisive, uh, and uh, it 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 can only aggregate the situation in, in Sri Lanka, and it's it's shameful that some uh, uh, Canadian politicians are uh, taking this stand uh, based on uh, their uh, the uh, based on their um, uh, in order to pursue votes for their e election uh, purposes. Indeed, uh, Minister, thank you for that. Uh, and it's very heartening to hear that our government is now thinking along the lines of that if they cannot help us, then they are not a true friend. And Canada, for time after time, Minister is uh, proving that they are not a friend of Sri Lanka, but a loyal friend to the LTTE. Appreciate it, Minister. Thank you very much. That was the State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Tharakal Balasurian. Now, there is one party which we need to ask as to what they think about this whole drama. It's none other than the Tamil community living here in Sri Lanka. Do they agree with the narrative of what the LTTE diaspora in Canada is stating? Earlier, I spoke to the leader of the Jaffna Civil Society Centre, Arun Siddharth, to get his view on the matter. Watch. Uh, you see, Mahesh, uh, we as Tamil community living in Sri Lanka, majority of Tamil people, we are not agree with, the, with that statement which was given by Canadian Prime Minister. Uh, that we see it's a political motivated or political, uh, it's a political statement because he is targeting the voters in Ontario and making such uh, uh, false claims because I know the person who brought this uh, Bill 104, uh, it means Tamil Genocide Education Week Bill, right? It was, it, it was a private bill and submitted by a private private member in Ontario Parliament. His name is Vijay Tanikasalan and he is a proxy of LTT and he is the close relative of Prabhagan. And he made so many claims in his social media platforms, say praising LTT and praising its leader. And he usually says that uh, I am from Tamil. You know. <laughs> He called himself, he is from Tamil Nadu. So we want to ask where it's situated. So it's 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 purely a, a, a separatist and a terrorist uh, encouraging uh, statement from uh, Canadian Prime Minister and we condemn that. Well, that was the leader of the Jaffna Civil Society Centre, Arun Siddhar, speaking to me earlier. Let's take a short commercial break. When we return, the saga about Prophet Jerome. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a moment.